All right, deadlift day. Wendler, week one, got to get up to 85% of my training max. Came in weighing 165 pounds. Happy about that because I've been eating a little bit more to feed this lifting, but I don't feel like gaining any weight because at 165, my Tanita gun says I'm about 13 to 15% body fat day to day. So I don't know that any weight gain at this point is going to do me any good. So I'll maintain 165, hopefully get some body composition changes down the road. And like I said, I haven't recalibrated the deadlift. I've done it with the squat, done it, done it with the bench press, done it with the military press, but I've consistently added 10 pounds to my training max every month with the Wendler program. And right now my training max is up to 400 pounds. I did 405 uh, a couple of months ago and 400 is, you know, this is getting heavier. Got a little technical difficulty here uh, with 340. This is my first set of 340, the 85% set have to hit five plus reps go on to hit about six reps i leave a few reps on the table and come back and do a couple more sets and i'll have those other two sets without the technical difficulties i apologize for technical difficulties here and i'd like to thank lt rob and quest for fit for putting on that challenge and i saw a couple of late entries into the challenge which was a good thing because uh you know, with each entry, somebody comes in a lot of times and you see something where, where things get blown out of the water, so to speak. And I've seen it in some of the challenges where you put out your entry and then like, you know, two hours later, you, you see somebody's doing like twice as many reps as you or whatever. And, uh, you know, that's what it is. But uh, to my I'd like to just uh, congratulate all the people that came out and uh, just did it to, to try it because here's the deal. Com competition makes you better and this is a big mistake people make when they take up running or they take up lifting they don't keep track of their numbers all that much they they don't they refuse to compete they, in their head they, they, they almost want to convince themselves that they're better for not competing it's kind of a vanity thing but the truth is human nature is competitive even if you're not going to win but if you go out and compete and it just gets you a little bit agitated that maybe somebody does a couple more reps than you or runs a little bit faster than you. And that gets you motivated to try harder. As long as you're not unrealistic, you're going to end up doing better and you're going to end up pushing yourself beyond what you think you can do. And that's what I try to do with these challenges. I, I try to be competitive here. Like I did the deadlift challenge a couple months back and I probably ended up doing three or four reps more than I was working with at that time. And I'm always looking for more challenges like that. I'm going to do the 400 meter run again, whatever comes up. So I encourage everybody who's got a YouTube fitness channel, if you're just trying to take the angle of losing weight or being older or, or just getting into fitness, compete. Don't shy away from it. You'll come out a better man or woman. Catch you later.